Hey YouTube, this is Eddie's Tech Talk, and this is my review of OmniROM, uh, an Android 4.4 for the HTC Droid DNA. Now, the Droid DNA uh, did not get an official upgrade to Android 4.4, so I do have a ROM installed. Um, if you want to get a uh, 4.4 on your DNA, or a similar device, um, if you have the Droid DNA, you can look at my How to S Off Your HTC Droid DNA, I'll include that link in the description. If you need to put a custom recovery on your already rooted device on uh, any Android phone, you can look at my how to install a custom recovery. Now, uh, I'm just going to go over all the features here of this ROM. It's OmniROM, um, it's typical Android 4.4 lock screen, and this wallpaper that I'm loving. I'll turn this brightness down for uh, better viewing. That's better right there. All right, so... Um, if you've seen any of the Nexus concept, the Nex if you have a Nexus 5 uh, in the stock Android 4.4, all this works here. So, uh, you know, I have my home screens. If I swipe all the way to the left past all my home screens, I have Google Now here. The Red Wings lost, unfortunately. The Lions lost, too. Not a good weekend for professional sports, but my Spartans won. Go green. So, uh, that's pretty cool. It has all my Google stuff right there. You can see it just, just seamless in and out. And, uh... You do have that cool feature. It says, say, OK, Google. And uh, there we go. But I found out that it actually, interesting little side note here, uh, I can say, OK, anything. Or, you know, I can I can say, all right, goo, Google. OK, phone. OK, Google. That's funny. I got it to work earlier. I guess not now. But I could say, OK, anything. Be like, what's up, Google? Do it, you know. All right, whatever. Doesn't want to work because I'm shooting now, of course. Uh, but you do have fluid. This ROM is very fluid. Goes right through all the screens. Get the app launcher up. Goes right through everything. Uh, very fluid. Have not had any performance issues with this ROM whatsoever. I'll go to the settings here. We do have the active display found here on the Moto X. You can see that if I leave the Moto X, I'll turn the active display on. Oh, it is on. You can see that um, if I just move the Moto X, basically, uh, the uh, notification active display turns on, whereas over here, that has no function. It doesn't have the Motorola X8 processor and that technology, but it is a pretty, pretty all right substitute here. Let's get the camera back in focus. It's a pretty all right substitute, and it does have a pretty good feature set. Uh, notification text, show notification text around the ring. I want that. Uh, so you do have those, all notifications, I want that. Pocket mode, not sure what that is, I want that off for now. Um, sunlight mode, colors invert when in direct sunlight, so if I hold it up to my phone here when I get active notification, or to my light, I'm sorry, I'm going to get active notification, that will show up. Um, let's see, excluded applications, I, it looks like I have to lower the brightness once again. There we go. That looks even better. Uh, excluded applications. So say you always get Twitter notifications. You really don't want Twitter notifications or something like that. You can just, you know, check whatever box you want and not get notifications. Pretty rich feature set in the options. You can have notification brightness. So when you get the active notification, how bright do you want your screen to be? When your display times out after you don't touch it and it has the active notification. Show AM, PM. Sure, why not? The date. Sure, why not? Um... So pretty cool, and you can have it redisplay notifications. Like if you didn't look at your phone, you can have it redisplay after, uh, you know, X interval of time. Pretty cool stuff there. I'll actually see if I can get a bud here to text me. As we wait. And my screen, as you saw, was on the lowest brightness possible. So we'll see. If uh, I, when I get the text here, if it does light up all the way, it goes to 100% brightness. Here we go. Active notification. You can see the screen's brighter because it's getting some feedback into the camera. He texted me here. Don't know if that'll be in focus. And my light, my notification light is on. Cool stuff, but it did show. I don't know if you could see that. It did show the text there. Sent in here random text, but that did show up in the notification bar. 
showed the time, showed all those AM, PM, all those settings I applied. So that's a pretty cool feature for them to include in the Omni ROM. Uh, bars and menus, brightness control. I can actually control the brightness by going like that. It only works sometimes. I have to. It's a little touchy. If I move along the status bar, it's supposed to control brightness. Works sometimes. Uh, show notification count. So I have a Gmail icon. I have 10 Gmails waiting. It'll say 10, you know. Um, pretty cool. Network speed indicator. You can see 0 bytes per second. Uh, then it jumped up there. Uh, but I don't need that. Cl show clear all button. Pretty, you need this. This is a pretty cool feature. So my multitasking menu, it's this button. So I have all these apps open. Don't want to swipe them off individually. Just press this button. Oh. Press this button here. Swipes them away. Good feature. Uh, really like this integration into OmniROM, and that leads me into my next segue here into buttons option here. Uh, volume button wake, pressing a volume button will wake the device. We'll try it, and it does work. Custom actions on. So the back key, the home key, and the multitasking key, where it calls the app switch. So long press, or normal press, whatever. No. No. we go get that back there we go get that back to where it was but long press if I want to kill an app I'm in or something or say I want to open um, I want to open Google now so I'm gonna long press that button and there we are in Google now pretty pretty cool it does work as advertised I'll set it to kill app so I can kill any app I'm in so pretty cool good as advertised home key of a little more options double tap long press and, and long press was always to open uh, Google now so I'll keep it even though I can swipe all the way left so really good customization you can really set this to do whatever you want tap and pay Android 4.4 stock feature not working on the Omni ROM uh, pretty cool stuff and just to prove to you guys that I am indeed running 4.4 there it is and there's my Omni version pretty cool stuff great ROM I recommend it to anyone it's the one I'm rocking right now on my uh, on my droid DNA I really like this ROM give it a look give it a try thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video, guys. This has been a presentation of Eddie's Tech Talk. If you like the video, don't hesitate to subscribe if you're not already. Um, I'm, that 50 subscriber special should be coming in the near future. Um, please subscribe, like, uh, rate the video in the comments, 1 to 10. Message me if you loved it. Like it if you loved it. Um, there is no love button, unfortunately. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.